What's up guys, it's your boy Colin Osborne. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, we have about 289 subscribers and we're looking to get to 300. So it'd really be appreciated if you could help us get to that. So how to start a business in 2023. I'm gonna be showing you exactly the really honestly four or five steps you need in order to um, get started. If you haven't already, make sure you jump on to colinosborn.com and you'll be able to see a lot of different resources and blogs and articles and YouTube videos that allow you to get the information you need really honestly for free. You can get all the stuff you need in order to start a business and I provide hands-on um, walkthroughs of exactly how to do those different things on my YouTube video. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to hop onto the computer and I'm going to show you exactly how to start a business in 2023. Let's get started. All right, guys, once again, I'm excited to share with you the tools and tips that have helped me along my entrepreneurial and business ownership journey. So once again, make sure you subscribe to that button so you don't miss out on any future videos on business entrepreneurship and personal growth. Now, let's get right into it. So if you go on colinosborn.com and click on blogs, you'll be able to access the how to start a business in 2023 blog that I've written for you. Let's just get into the steps real quickly. Conduct market research. I'm going to be showing you exactly what that means. Because when people think of market research, at least when I was starting business, I was like, oh man, like I don't want to have to go in and look at numbers and, and see data and like do all that stuff. That's what you will eventually have to do, but that's more of a, a complex component of the business world. And you have to, you can't really look at business ownership like that if you don't want to do things, because there's gonna be a lot of things that you're not going to want to have to do that you're going to have to do, it's like doing stuff for free in the beginning in order to build up a credibility for your, um, you know, to your peers so that you can then get referrals from there. So what is market research? Let's just, for example, look at uh, plumbing in, you know, I always like to, to uh, go after plumbing. So let's do plumbing, plumbing, Charlotte, North Carolina. So say I'm a, and I didn't do N, but say I'm a plumber and I just moved to Charlotte and I wanna open up a store. And when it comes to the physical aspect of your business, like say you went to trade school, you would have already known what the expenses for that is. So I'm not going to necessarily get into how you manage that. Hire an accountant when you're making the money that you need. But, um, you know, in, in the sense of like you have your brick and mortar store, you have, you know, those things kind of aligned. This is the how to start your business online presence wise. And really, and truly, at all, you, you just need an idea website payment processor, but I'm going to get into more of like all that stuff later. So market research. I want to be like the big boys. So I'm going to be looking for a, or at least someone who's on the front page of Google for Plumbing Charlotte. So, and by the way, what's up to Charlotte? I'm, that's where I'm based out of. There's a beautiful sunset out there right now inside my house. Absolutely beautiful. It's like ruby cotton candy sky right now. Yeah. Uh, let's go with this one because this one looks like a smaller business. We don't want to go after the national ones because those companies, you know, tend to have like because they have the ability to, you know, have multiple city pages and SEO done. Like they don't necessarily have to have the greatest looking website. And I like this website because it's extremely straight to the point. A lot of people are like, "Well, I don't want my website to look like that because you know I want my website to to be." you know, look like this. Like, don't recreate the will, guys, okay? You don't need to have a pretty website. You need to have a website that looks good, that, I mean, I know I just contradicted myself, but essentially what I'm saying is you need to have a website that looks decent enough to be able to provide the information necessary so that when a third grader comes on here and needs plumbing for his mom, he can click on this button and, and he'll know that he's going to be his, um, need is going to be filled because that's what Google is all about. Google is all about providing a need or information at our fingertips. So when it comes to market research, we're going to be looking for how the website is set up, what type of different um, 
incorporations on the website do they have? And really and truly, this looks like a, a base um, one page website is kind of what I call it. And I don't mean it to be like there's only one page, but in the sense where you have the, the major information on the page, you have your call to action here, phone number, then you have a little bit of review, reviews, maybe um, an about us section that explains exactly what they do. And there's here's some good SEO right here. I'm pretty sure this is like an H1 tag, or there might be an H1 tag up here too, but um, providing the services. So like, because as a customer, you got to think about it. You know, if you come on to the plumbing, if you click on this website, the first thing you're thinking about is, do they offer plumbing? It sounds stupid to think about it when you click on a website, but the first thing you're going to think of is like, all right, do these guys offer what I came here to offer? Yes, they do. What type of things do they offer? These things right here, because that's going to be the next thing, because you want to know, make sure that you're not hire, asking a plumber who, you know, maybe doesn't know how to, you know, fix a sink, knows how to fix a, a toilet. And you want to make sure you know how to decipher between the two. So having that information on there is going to be very important as well. The reason why I'm, I'm going over the websites because that is where the business is going. And a lot of people talk about, well, the biggest amount of business I get is from referrals. Yes, that's correct. But that's for small freelancers is what I call it. I, mean, I remember being at BNI and people would be talking about how like, oh yeah, I get all my business from, from like BNI and stuff like that. I'm not knocking a BNI or a networking group. It's not what I'm saying, but it feels a lot nice when you wake up with 10 or 15 leads every day. Of people being like, hey, I need, you know, someone to call your business rather than having to go out into the world and then also find 10 or 15 people that may have already called the people, your competitors who are on page one or on page two or page three or whatever. And there's ways of getting on page one. You don't have to also be on page one for just your website. There's also the map section. It means getting a Google My Business a reputation management system for that. Let's also look at the SEO keywords because I'm, I'm not going to get into too much detail about you know that because that's really more of a more deeper course. I offer a course called Start the Business where I provide business owners with all of my knowledge from start to finish of how to start a business, how to brand themselves, how to set up the right tools and resources so they can market their business in a network event setting or online. And all those things are going to be set up so that you're able to effectively scale your business and keep costs at an all-time low. That's the beautiful part about business today and marketing. You don't need to be spending $2,000 on that marketing company. I'm just going to be honest if you don't. Spend like less than 500 properly and and do big numbers. Anyways, SEO title, Charlotte Plumbing Experts, South End Plumbing, Charlotte Plumbing Company um, is 60 mile radius. I wouldn't necessarily use this particular meta description, you know, but I like the fact that I have Charlotte Plumbing Company servicing. And that's really important to have those keywords in the SEO title. And I bring over, I talk about a principle called the UMAC principle. I'm not going to get into that, but I talk about it in the course, but it is really honestly the ultimate way to be able to rank a website or put a website on page one. Extremely simple. Oops. All right. Next, creating a business plan. So business plan is pretty simple. I've created this one page business cheat sheet. Once again, if you guys go here, click on download your copy. Um, essentially, this is a one pager that provides you with everything you need to know in order to get started with your business from start to finish. It asks all the questions. I'll show you exactly what that looks like. Also, the questions it provides you with. And I want everyone to have a copy because I feel like it's very important. There are four phases of business, research and development, which we just talked about, researching your competitors and be able to understand what systems they're using and how they're operating the business, operations in terms of how do you plan to provide that service or product to your clients, and then being able to manage those clients efficiently so that you're not overloading yourself and you're being able to scale. So if you're, if you're at capacity at 10 clients, how do you then have the time to hire, to hire another person to take on the next five people at the same efficient rate as the first 10 clients that you onboarded. A lot of people don't think about it. They're like, oh, I can do it all myself. 
And then, you know, you end up getting bad reviews and you end up getting tired or a bad day. And, and, and you don't want to, you don't want to have that happen. You have to be able to scale and brand yourself so that your company uh, standard stays the same while you gain and, and generate more profit. Marketing. How will you create content for your social media? Content is king nowadays, guys. Everyone's on social media, TikTok. Now TikTok is becoming a search engine for Gen Z and others. You know, like how we have Google it. People are going to be like, oh, just TikTok it. Because, I mean, wouldn't you rather watch a 10-second video on how to create a latte than read it and probably fuck it up? Excuse my language. Probably mess it up and, you know, your, um, you know, a, a latte, it's like bang, 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 bang with TikTok instead of this long blog form thing. But obviously with these videos, you know, I kind of have to go in depth because it's a little bit more complex than creating a latte, but you get my point. Reputation management, getting a Google My Business, getting a, um, if you're in the tech field, I forget what the, the one it's called. I think it's called like, uh, man, I can't remember. But they're like, there's Yahoo, Yahoo reviews, Facebook reviews, and, um, you know, those different types of things. I have a web, web presence checklist that I also go over. Um, so go download your copy. Um, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna, it's honestly a game changer. I love this thing. This is what I use for all my business meetings. And this is what I give to all my clients to allow them to better themselves in their business acumen. And can you get this information um, on the internet somewhere else? Yeah, of course you can. But this is a more condensed version. I believe in avoiding obstacles and the straight line solution to you know, from point A to point B. How can I start doing the things I need to do in order to build my business effectively and avoid all of Colin Osborne's mistakes that he made over the years? Okay, moving on. So, what are honestly the resources you're going to need to start a business? Well, you need a website, you're gonna need an email, you're gonna need text, you're gonna, like your text and phone number, excuse me. You need to be able to provide your service, you need to be able to have money transacted and it has to be easy at their fingertips. Remember this guys, you don't want to have to be like, wait a minute, let me like, let me go and and on my computer and write an invoice, you know, to my person, you know, that person and then have him wait two weeks before he pays me. I've been there before. My first client, I'll tell you a story about this. My first client, I, um, she was a lawyer and I had, her on a $500 retainer and I was using QuickBooks invoices and I'll send out an invoice every month. And she would basically pay late every month. I mean, it was like, I wouldn't get paid till about a week and a half. And then QuickBooks would also take out a percentage of my money, which was also more. So, I mean, I'm getting paid late and then it would provide the service efficiently because I, I don't have the money to be able, you know what I'm saying? And then you get to a point where just like, you know, business sucks. So I love the app. Stripe. Stripe allows me to collect the payment on file. And day one of the first month, that card is being charged. And Stripe handles all of the customer service. I mean, not customer service. They handle all of the automatic email billing and all of the, um, uh, you know, you can, like now I'm able to go on, so I'll see who has paid me. And then I can then have the, uh, I can decide if I want to be instantly paid or I can wait for it to be sent to my bank account. They do take a percentage out, but I mean, it really depends on how you want. I don't really care if I, you know, I'm, I'm the type of person I want the money now so I can do something with it, but Stripe is a very efficient um, way of doing business. The next thing is your go high level account. Go high level account. <laughs> Go High Level is a CRM. It's a marketing platform that allows you to essentially have everything all into one. It has your website, it has your email, it has all of your account employees on it. Your phone number is, your business phone number is on there so you can send and receive phone calls as well as communicate with all of your customers on there. I find it very, very interesting how people mix and have all of their phone, their personal and business phone number information on one phone. Like, how do you live your life that way? That's awful. And I've been there. I've been there where my clients have my personal line and are blowing up my phone every morning saying, I need this, I need that. It just gets to the point where 
you know, you need a break and you need, you want to be able to, you know, Hey, go talk to my secretary. I don't want that. Like, like you want to help, you know, obviously communicate with your customers on a very respectful level, but there is a point where they tend to ask for, you know, things. So being able to have a system where, you know, you begin to scale and elevate and delegate, this is a system for you because once again, your MailChimp is also on here. Your Let's go. It's it's like a lead capturing system, and I'm going to get into exactly what that is. This website right I have right here, um, Collins.com, is on Go High Level. All of the links hosted, like my, um, like all my like this, my um, one page business cheat sheet hosted on Go High Level. It it's incredible. All my landing pages. So when you think of the like. Click funnels or lead pages or any of those things, all integrated into the platform. And what I want to do is, is there's a, a 14 day free trial. If you guys sign up under my affiliate account, I'm going to be able to provide you with a yearly consultation. And what that yearly consultation consists of is every Wednesday I have a mastermind group where we uh, go over automation technology and different tips and tricks that allow us to be able to become better business owners that's going to be in our, our entrepreneur to ceo group private group where we talk specifically about how to become better business owners i provide all of my secret tips tips and tricks that i've utilized over the years when it comes to building a better business in a better future um, and generating more profits um, for with my customers um, there's different types of ways of doing that. Like I have a personal chef, a client who I advocated for him creating his own recipes. Like, and then he was able to put about ten or fifteen thousand dollars extra on his income, being able to do that. And that's a recommendation that I also offer to a lot of these other people. And you can literally put that amount of money extra on your income by having a ten or fifteen dollar product that people will eat up daily on on the daily it's very easy to do that with go high level it, it's extremely easy to have landing pages funnels your email marketing through mailchimp um that's integrated into the system and so on and so forth but i'm gonna hop into the system and and it, there's there's a once again excuse me there's a course um that you can take start to business where i go over how to incorporate all of these different tools um but once again just going to be going over briefly all these different things. So next, business bank account. I recommend using BlueFind. BlueFind's amazing. The one thing about BlueFind is that it allows you to essentially have no, um, there's no overdraft fee and there's no um, monthly fee, which is, you know, really efficient as a, you know, being a small business owner because you want to be getting charged those uh, fees. I've been using them for about six months now before I was using, um, I forget what the, the name of the, the, they like kicked me off. It was really honestly frustrating because um, I think they kicked all small businesses off. Um, once, once it, once the name pops up in my mind, I will get back to it. But like I was using them and then they said I couldn't use them anymore. So I had to go find another, you know, business account bank account and blue vine has been the most efficient one for me because you um you, know, you submit your business information and it doesn't they don't charge you to have a bank account which is awesome so um online payment service provider stripe very efficient one thing i like about stripe once again like i told you is i don't have to worry about chasing my money anymore first all of that stuff gets clanged you know, clanged all the money, all the cards are, are swiped and, um, you know, I'm paid on the first and it, it's pro I've, I've heard of so many people that still use Venmo and cash app to run their business. And it, it literally blows my mind. Um, you're running for your money all the time. I don't understand that. Now we talk about online presence. This is where go high level comes in because it allows us to incorporate a lot of tools and resources um, in our uh, scheme. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over 
So my team and I just recently built out a um, home buyer website. And this is where all of the data is essentially housed in the sense where your web presence is here. And to you, a lot of people will be like, what am I looking at? Um, well, if I type in Valley Home Buyers, this is what populates up. So not only do I have the website on here, but I also have my CRM, my client relationship management. So I have all of the contact database information. And I'm not going to show his contacts because that's not like that's not information I'm supposed to provide, but I'm supposed to show. But I have all my contacts in here. Calendly is also connected into this system. Um, your Stripe integration would be integrated into here. And you'd also be able to have your logo, which is I'm going to be talking. And when we, when we talk about the brand, let's hop on over to Canva. Canva, it's free to use. There's a free account. You can create a logo extremely simple. Like when I tell you, you type, like it's, it's basically like typing in, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you type in like plumbing. And they're going to populate a bunch of different logos of plumbing. And then, you know, you can mix and match the different. Um, and I think it has to be logged into my account right now. But let's just quickly go over it. Let's see how quickly I can create a logo while I'm on this. Uh, Look at this good looking brown gentleman over here. Need a cup of coffee. All right, seamlessly in a matter of seconds, I can have my own personal logo. Now, would I pick this one specifically? No, because it's a little bit complex. In my opinion, I don't know how I'll be able to slap this on a shirt or something. It'll just be like, you know, kind of. I just personally don't like it, but you can go from here, click on edit. It will, let me just click on here so I can get the different colors of the shades. Maybe I want it black. That looks ugly actually. Let's do gray. Black right here. And there we go. All right. Let me exit out of here. All right, setting up your reputation. So, um, reputation, Google My Business. Let's just kind of go into what Google My Business is. This is what Google My Business does for you. It allows you to be on the front page as well, too. And Google My Business is now Google Maps integrated. So they're both integrated, so they're the same. So you, if you typed in Google My Business, you're still going to probably be directed to a page that may say Google My Business, but they don't take you to Google Maps because they're both integrated. But essentially, this is another way where people find your business. I use Google Maps all the time or Apple Maps and having your website on all of those different um, on all on like on Google Maps and Apple Maps is very, very Important because people are going to look at your views and they'll be able to, to, to see you. And this is another access point that people can have to your business. I can call, get a quote, do all those necessary things in order to. Um, and it's extremely easy to create. Uh, let's just go to Google My Business real quickly. I have opt I optimized Google My Business's accounts. Extremely easy. You just have to send a bunch of citations. And citations are just. Um, Let's see, it's my little biz right there. Hey, look at that. Um, let's see here. Where is that? I keep passing. Yeah, Google Business Profile. I'm not going to access mine right now, but go build yourself one. And the beautiful part about it is you can integrate it into your high level account and then be able to automate and send reviews. I don't ever have to. Like I'm just stumbled upon the fact that I have those reviews right there, which is pretty awesome. I don't 
look at my reviews anymore. They're just automated. And give yourself that opportunity to elevate and delegate your time with technology. Why wouldn't you? You know, like, come on. So, oh, and last but not least, here's an extra. Okay. So, if you guys haven't already been into the, uh, into um, technology, you guys need to check out this app called chat.gpd. Now, when I tell you it's going to be a game changer and a game changer for a lot of people because of our ability to create content on demand or create scripts or create whatever. So, so let's do this. How can I convince my viewers to subscribe to my YouTube channel? Here are some tips that might help you convince viewers to subscribe to YouTube channel. Provide valuable, high-quality content. I think I'm doing that, hopefully. Promote your channel consistently. I need to probably do a better good job of that. Let's see what else. This can involve sharing a video on social media. I'm gonna I'm doing more of that this year. Interact with your viewers. I always communicate with everyone who comments on my videos. By the way, guys, if you ever need help on business, um, I have a consultation that you can sign up for, spend an hour, two hours, and I will help you build out or scale your business within that hour and that time frame. Or if we just we need to talk specifically about goals and, and so on and so forth, let's uh, do it. Um, I'll drop the link in the comments below as well as in the description so that um, you guys can have access to that. But anyways, as you can see with ChatGPT, you're able to, it's like search engine meets AI that makes sense. You're able to essentially talk to this AI that will provide you with, you know, hypothetically unlimited amounts of information. And think about it as this is the base version. This is like when the first iPhone came out. Um, imagine when it gets to a point where it remembers what you are, what you remembers your daily routine, kind of like an Alexa. And it's able to be like, hey, these are the things that you normally think about at this time of the day. Um, and these are the thing and start it, and, and the table will essentially become your own assistant. It'll prepare all the documents you need at one point with reminders and stuff. It's crazy. It's crazy what this can do. Write me a 500 word blog post on how to start a clothing brand. I didn't spell that correctly. And you could have, and you're able to essentially create website content for this, social media content. I've literally done content myself. Um, I'm able to, like, if I like, write 100 tweets about business, and it'll blurt out 100 tweets about whatever. Schedule those out, I'm good to go. I don't have to worry about that for the rest of my day. Um, and see, it's essentially creating a plan for me, which is beautiful. Anyways, I also have in the Start the Business course, I show you guys how to optimize, efficiently utilize this, all the proper commands needed in order to efficiently build a business in 30 days or less. I also have a free course at seven days, which is more of, a, of an intro course, um, and it provides you with all the necessary information you need to get started with a business, but it doesn't necessarily go in depth. So just wanted to promote that to you guys so you know that's a, an option. Free course, once again, is just as valuable and will help you get there. It's just not going to be as in depth and as content driven. And there's a bunch of other goodies when you sign up for the pro course, which I plan on launching at the end of this month. But, anyways, guys, um, this really and truly is how you start a business in 2023 get a website, get a bank account, get a payment processor, get yourself set up with reviews so that after you are able to provide your service, you can then ask those people to put reviews on your business, uh, your, your reputation management system, and then you're able to promote those reviews and get more business that way. Because people want to be with people who have been, who have done business before, have been doing business before. And that's your easiest route to um, starting a business in 2023. Hope you guys found this video in, informational and I and make sure you like and subscribe and um, look forward to the next video where we talk about how much does it 
cost to start a business. We're going to be going into all the expenses online um, in terms of web presence and just overall theoretical um, expenses that may come up as the time goes. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.